Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Dr. Dave. I recently had a patient tell me they were taking turmeric because they heard it was healthy. What exactly is turmeric and is it really healthy? Turmeric is a bright yellow spice that comes from the turmeric plant. It has a distinct bitter taste. The root of turmeric has a yellow colored chemical compound called curcumin. Curcumin is the medically active compound of turmeric. Turmeric has been used in everything from curries to mustards and even lattes. Turmeric has been touted as a potential therapy for heart disease, Alzheimer's, and even depression. And yes, there are a few small studies that have studied turmeric for the above, but that is by no means proof that it works without much larger well-controlled studies. So how did turmeric become so popular, at least in Western and pop culture lately? As our population ages, so does the incidence of chronic pain. A central component of pain is inflammation. One particularly interesting area of research for turmeric has been its ability to help decrease inflammation. I get it, someone is in pain, they are taking a ton of pain meds and are desperate for more relief. Both animal studies and small human trials have suggested that curcumin, the medically active compound in turmeric, may have anti-inflammatory properties, which then led to people using it for inflammatory disorders, such as arthritis, colitis, fibromyalgia, irritable bowel syndrome. Now, this all sounds exciting and hopeful, yes! but yes! once again, we need to make sure the science backs up the claims. For example, a 2015 study of 50 patients with ulcerative colitis, which is inflammation of the colon, found that those who took 3,000 milligrams of curcumin capsules on top of their regular treatment were more likely to be in remission a month later than those who took placebo. But a human study published in the Canadian Medical Association Journal found no evidence that curcumin taken in the form of supplement capsules reduces post-surgical inflammation in humans. So the patient population that is being studied as well as the dose and frequency of turmeric may decide if turmeric is truly helpful. So what are some of the downsides? First, only 3% of turmeric is curcumin. Most studies use turmeric capsules typically greater than one gram per day, which would be difficult to obtain through food alone. And furthermore, curcumin is poorly absorbed by the body. However, consuming black pepper, which contains piperine, can increase the absorption of curcumin by 2,000%. Another issue is several studies have shown turmeric powder can be contaminated with heavy metals such as lead, calling for nationwide recalls by the Food and Drug Administration. Curcumin supplements, like all supplements, are not regulated the same way prescription meds are regulated. That means that they may not contain what the label advertises and that the claims have not always been validated. Just because they are natural doesn't always mean they are safe or helpful. Turmeric may also have dangerous side effects. For example, it has been shown that high doses of turmeric may act like a blood thinner. So you should avoid turmeric or curcumin if you take blood thinners such as warfarin or coumadin, are about to have surgery, are pregnant, or have gallbladder disease. And finally, if you are taking prescription medications, be careful because we do not know if turmeric will interact with these medications. So what is the verdict on turmeric? And that's the game! Nothing further, Your Honor. At this time, it is difficult to say if one should try turmeric for an inflammatory disorder without larger, well-designed studies. Turmeric has been used in Chinese and Indian cooking and medicine for thousands of years, so we shouldn't discount the potential benefits of turmeric, but clearly need more studies. Finally, be sure to consult with your doctor if you are considering taking curcumin supplements. Until next time, this is Dr. Dave.